Hi everyone, good morning. It's part three of Matthew 14. I just wanted to finish this story about Jesus and calling Peter out into the waves with him. So yesterday we were talking about how Jesus said, don't be afraid, it is I, take courage. And, um, you know, the waves were just rocking the boat and I had to get to part three because <laughs> it's just where I am in my life and I had to share with you this word that God is just touching me with. It's so alive. It's just the word of God is so alive. And so um, I was just imagining how Peter said, you know, there they are. They, they're met with this figure of a man at like four o'clock in the morning. It's still dark. They're out miles from the shore. It's stormy and <laughs> there's Jesus. And he says, Peter says to Jesus, if it's you, it's really you, call me out with you. Call me out into the waters with you. And I just thought about what does that mean for you and I today? If it's really you, Jesus, even though it's so bad out there, like what's going on in the world right now, if it's really you, <clears throat> will you call me out? Because I want to be where you are. <laughs> I want to be here. I want to be stuck like glue to you. And so he said, come. Come, Peter. Come. And... Um, I want to get to this one part that I felt like was from the Lord for me. I don't know if it's for you, but Peter took those steps out into the unknown, out into the tumult, out into the treachery, out into the um, gripping uh, knowledge that this is impossible. <laughs> What's happening right here? Like, this is impossible. He's a fisherman, for heaven's sakes. He's like, this is impossible. <laughs> but I'm following you, so I've got to come, and I don't want to be away from you, and I'm intrigued by you, and everything about you is life and goodness and wholeness and blessing, and I'm coming. And so he comes, and he starts to walk. And you know, this is the part we always hear in the sermons. He took his eyes off the Lord, and he started to sink, because he started looking at the wind, it says, um, I think it's interesting that he looked at the wind, what was causing the problem, not the waves and the, you know, the actual problem, but he was looking at the causes, he was looking at <clears throat> the force behind it. Think about that. And he began to sink, and then Jesus said, um, why did you doubt? Um, he said, oh, you, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? Don't you want more faith? But you know, this is the part I wanted to get to. What if he was chuckling when he said that? Like, <laughs> Peter, well, gosh, where's your faith, man? Oh, you of little faith. Instead of the chiding that we always hear, Peter, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't have any faith, man. Why don't you get out here where I'm at? That's not our God. He's just... He's just with you. And he just grabbed Peter and he pulled him up and he, it was like, man, it's okay. Who else even asked if they could come? At least you asked and you did it. And so go in the strength of the Lord that you have. And when he says, come, let's come. It looks impossible, but let's go. And I'm just speaking to myself <laughs> mostly this morning. But I hope that these three days of journey and this devotion on Matthew 14 has blessed you like it did me. Because, boy, I'm going to be chewing on this the rest of the week. All right, have a good Friday. Bye.